We've had someone ask a question about um, how to do something and I thought we would just make a video of it. Um, it's kind of a continuation of our video on uh, group, combine, and weld. Um, the question is how do I take the text and make it look like it's carved out of an object? And um, that's all the specifics I have so I'm going to go over a couple things we could possibly do here. But hopefully one of these will answer the question. We're going to start out with we're going to draw two rectangles. Uh, one a little bit bigger than the other and uh, so we'll make that the back one and I'm going to make it blue and um, then I'm going to draw another one here on top just so we can see just so we have some layers basically and this one will make red and I'm turning the outline off now we're going to put some text in here I'll just put the word text a little bit more bold so we'll put the bold Arial font and we're going to put that on top. Now if I wanted to knock out the text from that red rectangle so we could see through where the text was I can think of, there might be more, but I can think of two ways to do it. Probably the quickest way would be select the text, I hold down the shift key, select the red rectangle also. As you can see we have two objects selected and go up here and click on simplify. What that'll do is any place where there's overlap it'll make a hole um, and I'm just going to drag that text off of there. So as you can see that that's not just blue text. If I move it up here you can see that is an actual hole through there. So that would be the most common way you would probably knock that out of there. You could actually use the combine method to by uh, converting the text to curves combining it with the red background and you would also have a hole. But the simplify method probably works probably the easiest and the easiest to understand. Now now this is definitely cut out of there. I'm going to go one step further just in case somebody wants to see maybe something what I would call a little bit more like carved out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this red and um, I'll go up here under effects you can see bevel. I've got it open over here. So if it's not open you can click bevel. I've got some values set here. This is the distance that the bevel will go out and uh, we'll start with it right there. It's on eight hundredths of an inch and all these different settings here you can kind of play with but we'll just click apply and you can kind of see what uh, what that does. And uh, let's see, let's change some of these shading colors. But you can see that kind of makes this look like it's notched or it's got, got an edge on it so that it looks like it's cut down in there or raised up off of there. It kind of really depends on which way the light's hitting it. So that kind of will give you that effect. If you want to adjust it, you can move some of these controls and apply them. Uh, get a little bit different look. Now that to me looks like it's carved down into the red. It gives that red some thickness if you can see here. It gives you that illusion of thickness and um, if we move that around let's go right off to the edge here. As you can see you get a different look depending on whether you've got a background behind it or not. So that would be one way to make the lettering look like it's carved out of there. From there you're going to have to change some colors. If we'd make this background red maybe we darken that up a little bit we can get some different looks so that will give you a way to carve out lettering out of there kind of a neat little effect like I say as you change the color you're gonna start seeing this different ways because it's just the way the shadow or the the way it's presented to us as a shadow it's not really a shadow but it fools our eyes into thinking it's a shadow and uh, we'll give you an effect like that is carved right out of there. So hopefully you find that helpful. We'll expand on uh, the bevel in another video, but that's a kind of a simple use of it. It's got a few controls there you can kind of play with, but um, hopefully that answers the question. We'll see you in the next video.